All right, what we have here is the new Willard reissue. I know the lighting isn't great in here, but I just wanted to try a mod here with the 21st century NATO is what I'm calling these five buckle straps. Yeah, this came used to me in pretty good condition on this Jubilee bracelet. And obviously came on the rubber strap. I'm not a huge fan of the rubber strap. Um, I, they just get mucky and smelly on me. And people will say that about these NATO style straps. I find the opposite. I find that these breathe. It's the ratio diver. This was given to me by one of the patrons of the channel, uh, Jim. Thanks again, Jim. I, I dig it. I haven't been wearing it because I had that rubber strap on it. And I put it on this, and now I love it. I've been wearing it for a couple days like this. Pretty cool. So I'm going to go ahead and put this strap on here and see what I think. And maybe I'll wear this. It's beautiful on this bracelet. And this watch is, as you guys know, it's a, I think it's like an $1,100 watch. I'll show it to you in the light after I put it on the strap. You know what? Let me show it to you on the bracelet first. So here this watch is in the sunlight. I'm in Arizona right now. And it looks good on the bracelet and it feels great. We all know how great bracelets are. They breathe, you wear them in the water, they're fantastic. Uh, but you know, you, the more you wear them, the more you mess them up and that's fine. You know, again, I'm not, I bought this watch on a whim Right after it first came out, I found it used at a real good price. I pay, I paid well under retail on this. And I just keep it in the box, really. But I wanted to put it on the NATO and see what it looks like and how it feels. Because I think I might wear it more on the NATO style strap. So bear with me. I'll be right back. Yeah, I think I think we have a winner here. What do you think? It's it's good too. It's it's lighter on the wrist. It doesn't have all the weight. Yeah, good look at that dial, that sunburst on there. You guys have seen this before. I wipe them fingerprints off there. Yeah, I, I'm more apt to want to, I've bought a bunch of these straps now, different colors, 20 millimeters and 22 millimeters for a bunch of my, every watch I have that had a rubber strap on it, I am now putting this. I'm obviously saving the bracelets. I like wearing bracelets on a lot of the watches, but man, I just think that this is the way to go. Anyhow, I hope you guys enjoyed. Real, real quick, short video. The Seiko Willard. On a 21st century NATO. Again, I'm calling it that because it has the uh, the two, two extra, it's got the five buckles, right? So you run that strap through the two buckles here. And that takes the stress off the spring bars. Uh, it's called the five buckle NATO, people are calling it. I'm calling it the 21st century. Did a whole video on... G10 slash NATO slash Zulu straps. You guys should check that out. Maybe I'll try to remember to put a link to that in the description of this video. But yeah, I'm going to wear this now. It just was too fancy with the bracelet. I didn't want to, I don't know. It was just one of those weird things. But with it like this, I think I'm more apt to wear it now. Anyhow, that's it. Hope you guys enjoyed this. Have a great day. Be kind to one another. And I'll catch you all in the next one.